Hello everyone, my name is Avkash and today we are going to learn the significance of text to image AI models first and second we are going to learn since their inception in around 2015-2016 the different methodology or the research methods being applied to generate these text to image models and as of now the most popular text to image models such as Dali and Dali 2 from OpenAI, the Imagine from Google, there is another one text to image model is called Glide which is open source from OpenAI 2 and you can also say that Glide was the precursor to Dali 2 and there are a couple of other open source models such as Ru Rally and Dali Mini and Mega. So there are two important objectives we would want to achieve from this video. First, we could learn the different technology and the methodologies are being used to generate text to image models. The another aspect of this video is to understand what is the significance and the importance of these text to image AI models. These text to image models help us understand how AI systems really see and understand our world. One big reason behind these text to image model is to amplify the creative potential for both, for both humans and for both machines. So with these objectives in our mind, let's get ourselves started. If we go deep into the history of text to image generation AI models, we can start with autoregressive models. The first research paper around February 2016 related to generating images from captions with attention was the very first in this list. After the initial success of autoregressive models, GAN-based text-to-image generation models got really significant popularity. In last two years, uh, in 2021 and 2022, the emergence of VQVAE transformer-based text-to-image generation models start gaining popularity with the emergence of zero shot text to image generation next is the diffusion models and the diffusion models have seen wide range of success in text to image generation more recently we have seen that the diffusion models have been explored for text to image generation through the glide and the most importantly the Tally 2 model by OpenAI and the most recent Imagine AI model from Google uses diffusion also. The another example of the VQVA transformer based text to image generation models such as Tally Mini and the Mega and the Root Tally text to image generation models. Based on the research published as a conference paper at ICLR 2016, very first time we have seen the promise of autoregressive models through its research paper generating images from captions with attention. And next was the GAN where this, these two research paper, the attention GAN in November 2017 and the another research paper titled Cross-Model Contrastive Learning for Text-to-Image Generation in April 22, they both shows the promise of using Generative Adversarial Network or the GAN to create images from the text. So for the starters, if you are new to GAN, here is some information which I would love to share with you. A GAN or the Generative Adversarial Network is a machine learning model in which two neural networks compete with each other to become more accurate in 
their result or the prediction. There are two neural networks. First one is the generator and the second one is the discriminator. The generator is the convolutional neural network. However, the discriminator is the deconvolutional neural network. So the composition of these two neural networks that makes the GAN are the generator and the discriminator. The goal of the generator is to artificially manufacture output that could easily be mistaken for the real data. And the goal of discriminator is to identify which output it receives have been artificially created. It means the generator uses the latent space and using the latent space, it generates the content and that content is given to discriminator to validate or the predict for its correctness. And the discriminator uses the real data set and the real content in order to generate the results. So as you could see that the GAN creates their own training data through the latent space and there is a feedback loop between the adversarial network which grows and as the feedback loop grows to generate the results through the back propagation minimization between the discriminator and the back propagation maximize error through the generated content or the artificial content. So slowly, slowly, the generator start producing higher quality generated content and the discriminator will become better at flagging the artificial data that has been created by the generator. The validity and the promise behind VQ VAE transformer based text to image generation models was started through the research paper zero sort text to image generation in February 2021 and another research paper make a scene scene based text to image generation with human previous around March 2022 this year example of both Dolly Mini and the Rue Dolly is worth to consider so let's take a look at the Dali Mini first. So the Dali Mini model was used by combining three different data sets. It used first the three million images and their caption from the conceptual caption data set. And the another data set was used the conceptual which has 12 million images and their captions. Finally, the open AI YFCC 100 million or 100M data set which has about 15 million images and their captions was used. However, only 2 million images has been selected from this data set. It means the Dali Mini model was generated by using about 15 million images and their caption using their sequence to sequence model. Here you could see in the training phase of Dali Mini where images are encoded through a VQ GAN encoder, which turns images into a sequence of tokens. The image descriptions are encoded through a BART encoder. The output of the BART encoder and the encoded images are fed through the BART decoder, which is an autoregressive model whose goal is to predict the next token. Finally, the loss is the softmax cross entropy between the model prediction logics and the actual image encoding from the VQ GAN. The inference pipeline for the Dali Mini looks like this, where the caption is encoded through the BART encoder. The beginning of the sequence token or the BOS token is fed through the BART decoder. The image tokens are sampled sequentially based on the decoder's predicted distribution over the next token. The sequence of image tokens are decoded through the VQ GAN decoder. And at the last, the clip, which is originated from the open AI, is used to select the best generated images based on higher result probabilities. 
looking at the rudali we can say that there are various variants of rudali such as axel model axel model and the emojis model from the architecture perspective most of these model they share common architecture the axel model has 1.3 billion parameters where the axel model has about 12 billion parameters the vq gan model is used as image encoder which generate a sequence of 32 by 32 characters the ytdm text tokenizer is used with the dictionary of 16384 tokens to generate the visual sequence the specialized attention mask is used and with the support of re-ranking the result are generated using the ru clip model which is a variant of open ai clip model and finally the image upscaling is done using the real esr gan or the guided diffusion model visiting the rudali web page to learn more about the rudali is very important for you to learn even more about rudali architecture and the promise behind open source rudali model the diffusion models are generative models it means that they are used to generate data similar to the data on which they are trained fundamentally the diffusion models they work by destroying the training data through the successive addition of gaussian noise and then learning to recover the data by reversing the noising process as seen in this image you can see that the after the training the diffusion models can be used to generate the data simply by passing the randomly sampled noise through the learned denoising process looking at the research paper related to the diffusion models we can say that a diffusion model is a latent variable model which maps to the latent space using a fixed markov chain the chain gradually adds noise to the data in order to obtain the approximate posterior and the latent variable are the same dimensionality as the original variable such as x0 here you could see that the markov chain is manifested for the image data in the second phase the image is transformed into the pure gaussian noise and the goal of training a diffusion model model is to learn the reverse process by traversing backwards along with the markov chain the model generates the new data and the magic is happening here in this process the diffusion models learn to generate the different results from the training data or the data they have trained earlier the various examples of diffusion models are such as glide dali 2 or the imagine so let's take a look at the glide you can find the open source implementation of the glide model here at this github repo from the open ai if you would want to use the glide model you can try the hugging face glide model card as well you can visit at hugging face card to play with the glide model in this interactive demo another diffusion model example is the dali 2 and the fact is there is a lot more resources available for you to look and learn more about dali 2 finally looking at the imagine ai model by google going deep into its architecture we can see that the google imagine model uses a large frozen t5xxl encoder to encode the input text in, into the text embeddings a conditional diffusion model maps the text embedding into a 64 by 64 image the google imagine model further utilizes the text conditional super resolution diffusion model to upsample the image from 64 by 64 to 256 by 256 and finally another super resolution diffusion model upsample the 256 by 256 image to 1024 by 1024 image as the final result 
and that's how the Google Amazon AI text to image generation model creates the photorealistic images from the given input text. One thing you must understand that the Google Amazing model is the part of Google research which generated this power trial or the pathways autoregressive text to image models series. They both are from Google research. And to learn more about Google Party model, please do visit to this website and learn more about from this model architecture, the content which we have covered in this whole video is also available at this GitHub repo, DeepWorks folder text to image AI models, where all the research paper, the GitHub repo, along with various important articles are available for you to complete your further reading and the text to image AI model understanding. Finally, as you can see, there is a lot to learn about text to image AI models. In last eight plus years, we have seen significant research and impressive results through various different research methodologies to generate images from the text we just have stretched the surface and in coming years, we are going to see some more significant impressive results. Thanks for your time and I hope you have enjoyed the content in this video.